welcome to Faith Field. Today we're in Cades Cove in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. This is one of my favorite spots in the entire world. And as you look around this mountain majesty, I hope that you can see why this is such an inspirational site for me. Uh, with the mountains, with the fields, with the forest, uh, the multitude of deer that we've seen coming in. Uh, I absolutely love this place as an outdoorsman uh, and as a Christian. It is a place that gives me a lot of inspiration in my life, both personally and spiritually. Something else that we also find when we open the pages of the Bible is inspirational characters. Much as this place gives me a lot of inspiration, there are people in the Bible who also give me a lot of inspiration as I live my life. And one of those we find all the way back in the book of Numbers. In Numbers chapter 13, we see a young man by the name of Caleb. He was selected to be one of the 12 spies which went into the land. They were going to spy out the land and give a report back to Moses and the elders of Israel. In Numbers chapter 13, Joshua, Caleb, and the other ten spies went into the land of Canaan. They did so to spy out the land, to do reconnaissance, and to give that information back to Moses so that they could go in and take the land that God had promised them. We see as they went to the land, and after 40 days they came back, but after 40 days, the opinion of some of the spies had changed. In Numbers chapter 13, we see that ten of the spies saw to tell the people that they couldn't go in. They said, we are as but grasshoppers in your sight. We are unable to do these things. We see that even though the other spies tried to assail the people, tried to convince them that they were unable and inadequate to go and collect the things that God had told them were going to be theirs, the land. We see in Numbers 13 and verse 30, that Joshua and Caleb, that they stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Besides, the two to three million of their friends and family members, their countrymen that had gathered together, in face of all of this opposition, Caleb said, stop everybody. Let's have a moment. Let's do what God wants us to do because we can do these things because God is on our side. One of the reasons why I find Caleb so inspirational is because of his courage. Caleb is courageous in all that he does. He was willing to stand up to opposition, to stand up for his belief in God. He was willing to do all those things simply because he had faith in God and it allowed him to be courageous. We go on to the book of Joshua in Joshua chapter 24 beginning in verse 6. We see that Caleb comes to make a plea to Joshua. Even though he was up in age at this time, he was an old man, Caleb said, Do you remember the promise that Moses gave to me, that I would have the lands where the giants dwell? He said, I am as strong today as I was in that day to go out and to do what God would have me to do, both to go out to war and to come back home. He said, Give me that mountain where the giants dwell, in verse 11. We see that Caleb even though he had become old in age at this point, had the same attitude he had in Numbers 13, where he stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up to once and possess it. Even though he was old in age, he still wanted to possess the things that God has given him. He still wanted to stand up for God. Caleb was a man of great courage. Caleb was a man who can inspire us all. Not all the time do we study the Old Testament and the characters that are in it. These wonderful historical accounts of godly people doing what God would have them to do and demonstrating great faith. That's why many of these people are included in Hebrews chapter 11, what we often call the hall of faith. As we stand here in the mountains of East Tennessee, surrounded by the beauty that God has created, and these things hopefully will do such things to inspire us, let us always remember that there are inspirational people in the Bible, then when we get discouraged, when we don't feel that we have the courage that we need to, we can always look to Caleb the Courageous in Numbers 13 and find the inspiration that we need to live our faithful lives. Thank you for tuning in once again to Faith of Field. I'm Josh Robinson. Good day. God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above.